Been over an hour since the uh, green line had a power failure in the uh, tunnel. Uh, the service is still not back up, so I guess they're gonna be running shuttle buses indefinitely until they get that fixed. Uh, this is another thing that the T has to worry about. So they're running shuttle buses both inbound and outbound on the um, the B line. I'm not sure how far along the B-Line is down. I'm not sure if it's the whole B-Line or if it's a certain section of the B-Line. Actually, um, we'll see if we can find out that information too. Is the whole B line down or is there a certain section of the B line? Do you know? No uh, idea. Right so, as far as we know, the whole B. Okay, cool. I can tell you E line stops at Prudential. East to Prudential, that's it. East stops at the Prudential only. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. The E line stops at the Prudential. Uh, I thought the E line went to He Street. If I oh, wait a minute, am I, am I getting these lines mixed up now? Nah, maybe I'm getting them mixed up. I, I gotta, I gotta recalibrate myself. Like I said, I don't know these lines as thorough as I should know them. He said the E line stopped at the Prudential. I thought the E line went to He Street. That's what I thought it went to, but I, I could be wrong. Sir. Do you know where is the start marathon line? Say it again. The start marathon line. Oh, the marathon start line. Yeah. That's usually in Hopticon, is it? This is the finish line down here. Okay, down here the finish. The finish line is in front of the library, but the, the starting line is in Hopticon when they do the marathon. So this this would be the finish line. Yeah, the finish line. You might still see it on the ground over there, but that's where it is usually in front of the library. Yes, sir. Shuttle to Park Street? Right here. So the, um, the next, it's going to say shuttle, Park Street on it. Okay. You can ask him to see if he's going there. I don't know, if, I'm not sure if he's going there, but it's going to say Park Street Station on it. Um. So he said the E-Line stops at Potential. I don't, I don't understand that because the E-Line goes to Heath Street. So I'm not too sure why it stops at Potential only. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not sure what's going on with the MBTA, so I, I couldn't even tell you.
I'm gonna hang around for a little bit longer and see if they get this uh, service back and running. a lot of money to advertise for DraftKings on the uh, buses. That's close, yeah. What we, we trying to get to? We, we, it all depends on where you're going. And then somebody should be notifying the passengers on the 39 bus. Saying, hey, uh, just so you know, Copley Station is closed, Heinz Convention Station is closed. So that way they don't plan on taking those kind of routes because a lot of people use these as connectors. Let's we have so far. The T once again has failed its uh, riders with a power outage at Copley or in between Copley and um, Heinz Convention. Somewhere between that stop, there was a, somehow a power line that Leslie came loose from the overhead. Bus is going to Park Street. Yeah, that's that's close. close? Yeah, if you gotta if you go into Park Street, you gotta catch the bus to Park Street, going that direction. Oh, so this this line here, I believe it's the um, is that the B line? I believe that's close. Yeah. So if we need to get down to Boston University. So you gotta go on the other side on St. James Street and catch the bus going that way. Well, we catch don't want a bus. bus. We we can't get the T over here. Well, the green line is shut down, so you won't be able to catch the green line. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Did that start this morning? That started this morning, yeah, like 8.30 or so around that time. Okay. So the green line's totally shut down. 
this, just this line, not not the entire green line, just this line right this here. Section going down. Right. Oh, so we can catch it somewhere else. No. Bus, no. Catch the shuttle bus, and it'll take you to your destination. So you go to St. James Street, which is next street over. Okay. That'll take you going so that direction. Not direct. the whole green line, just this area right here. Right. So, Lauren, this area here, being this whole line going down to Boston College, right? Correct. Oh, the whole green line shut down. That's on now. Yes. No, the green line. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. There's different Boston branches. College. Okay, so if you catch the bus on the other side on St. James, it, it'll take you. So take a right. There's a bus at the corner of St. James and uh, Dartmouth. And then you can pick it up right from there. Okay, thank you. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am. So you're saying Cleveland Circle, Keith, all that works? See, no one's giving me that answer because oh. I don't work for the T, just so you know. Okay. But I try to get the information from the guy that works for the T. He doesn't know. But, um,. The bus is probably going to take you as far as they can take you to the line that is working. So everybody's catching the BU side on the other side over there by St. James and uh, Dartmouth. Okay, and taking I, the bus. Taking the bus, correct. Taking the bus to the station line. To the station line, correct. Okay, is there, I wonder if there's an app or something. Okay, all right, thank that you. That should so be on the T app. That's a good question. That's it nice. it should be on the app. You know what I'm saying? Because you're saying you don't know if the bus, which line is the one that's causing the problem. Right, I know what you're talking about. I, I see, I see what you're talking about. And I don't have the answer for that. Okay. I, I don't really have the answer for that one. The station is closed, so you're going to find nothing down there. So where do we go for the next station? You know what? This guy needs to get out here and do his job. Hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm getting him over to do his job. because. So where are you going? To Park Street? We're going to Tufts. Tufts University. Yeah, that's, that's going downtown, right? Yes, it's going downtown. So catch this bus right here going downtown. Yeah. That's going to take you down to Park Street. That's going to take you all the way down, like towards inbound, like downtown. So, so this guy up here, he's supposed to be an inspector or whatever, but he's he's not helping the customers that are trying to catch on the. Uh... Yeah, that, that's that's a problem. It's over two hours now. Uh, I'm bringing to his attention. And he can take it from there. That's why you document what's going on in the city of Boston. I, I don't know if you noticed or not. People are walking to the train station over there trying to get on the train. So nobody's blocking up that elevator. The people are going down in the elevator. There's an elevator there. You pass by the station, there's an elevator on the side. People are trying to take the elevator down to the station and they're asking me questions and I'm saying, well, there's a guy working out here, help him out. They need to either lock their elevator off or put a sign up there. See that? Another customer. There's an elevator right here that people are riding down to the station, and then it, somebody needs to block that off so they can't get in the elevator. Now I don't work, I don't work for the MBTA, and I, neither do I want to work for the MBTA. But training and understanding how the system works is going to help a lot. You know what I mean? Training, training, more training. Um, if they're not trainable, get rid of them. You know what I mean? Don't keep people that's untrainable. And this should be already be, this should be something already in place. Okay, for say for example, you lock down the station. Who locked down the station at night? What's the protocol to lock down the station? Now that guy's not in to lock down the station. Who takes his place? So you should go on the computer and say, what's the protocol to lock down copy station, inbound and outbound? And you should have a protocol. What doors you lock? What elevators you shut down? All that stuff should be in place because someone calls out sick. The show doesn't stop because someone calls out sick. I mean, it's supposed to keep going. People have to be cross-trained. You know, train people to work at multiple different stations. You know, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be going on in the MBTA that's not going on. And it's not happening because no one cares. Philip Ng is uh, no silver bullet to the MBTA at all. And as a matter of fact, it has gotten worse. The MBTA has gotten worse since Phil Ng took over the MBTA. I'm saying this because I know for a fact it has, and I heard multiple, multiple people say it, Phil Ng has made the T run worse than it has been running before. They're, they're having more problems now than we had before. Now, Phil Ng, you know, go back to the railroad if you can't do your job correctly. We, we don't need you in the state of Massachusetts messing up something that's already been messed up. If, you, if you're getting paid a half a million dollars to do something, then show that you're doing it. 
We don't even see you out here, no representative of you out here. So that shows you don't care. And if you don't show up, then you don't care at all. But even if you can't show up, send a representative up from your office. We don't see no one out here. No one from the MBTA. No one. No one at all. Like, this guy's here, but he just got here, like, and he, and he well, we, we trying to get to. So if you wait here, there's going to be a, a bus that's going to take you into Park Street. So if I go to Alexander, I still can't get on? No, I believe it's shut down too. Even back that station? The Armstrong? The Armstrong's working. For real? Armstrong's working, yeah. You can test your Armstrong. Right. Yep. Alright, uh, is this the, uh, the green line uh, to uh, Riverside? I believe it, I'm not sure, well, this might branch off to the one at Riverside. So I don't know how it branches off, how they have it set up. But they got that shuttle bus on St. James Street you can catch. It will take you to the next stop that, that, that's, that's available. So you walk over to St. James Street, which is the next street over. It'll take you, there's a shuttle bus that'll take you to the next stop that's available. Ask the bus drivers, because they, they have more, more information than I do. Like, like I said, there's a lot of people that don't know how to catch the bus. So they, they, they're trying to figure that out. And it's, it's all new to them. So everybody's trying to figure out everything. I'm gonna hang around here for a while because you know this this is newsworthy, and people need to know what's going on in their communities. And the T is, is so short-handed. And the reason why they're short-handed, uh, some people really struggle to work for the MBTA because the, the morale is brought down to a, such a low level regarding how supervisors and other co-workers treat each other. That's another problem. You have to pull all the way up. And bus drivers, you shouldn't have to tell a bus driver to pull all the way up. He, he's supposed to know. The green line is closed. But I'm not too sure where you're going to. Which way are you going? Well, they have some kind of power issue in the tunnel. Something happened. Something happened, yeah. You think it will be on later? I don't know, because it, it might take a while. I, I don't know when it's going to be. No one's giving us a definite answer. Okay. It's been down a couple of hours now, but no one knows the exact time okay. when it's going to be back up. Okay. Yeah, double check to make sure. It might be up, it might not. I'm not sure. Yes, ma'am. North Station. I would catch this bus to Park Street and then catch the North Station from Park Street. Or you can catch the orange sign to, to North Station. You walk up the back bay, you can catch it that way or catch just the Park Street, either way. First to Park Street and then from Park Street. From Park Street, there should be a train going to North Station. Okay, I see. Gotcha, yep. Yeah. Is the one that just came before this one the one to Park Street? Um, all the, this one's going to Park Street, right? No, I don't know. That's 39. Oh, that, maybe that's not Park Street. You're right. The one before that was Park Street. Okay. Yeah, you're right, because that's the 30. That, that's probably going to back bay and turn it back around again. Every 15, yeah, about 15 minutes. Maybe a little sooner than that. A little sooner than that. All right, thanks. It is a little chaos because everybody's trying to get to different destinations and they need to know how to get there. See, that's the 39 bus. So that 39 bus does, does not go to... Um, Park Street. I think it just goes to um, Back Bay, turns back around, and go back the other way. I could be wrong. I, I don't think that goes to Park Street, though.
All right, guys, we're hanging around here for a little bit, see what we see. Right now, it's just a little confusion. People are trying to figure what bus to take and how to catch it and where to catch it at. Here comes a Park Street bus now coming down. This one's definitely going to Park Street. It says Park Street Station on it. Another tea disaster, correct. Uh huh. What? So leash leash way up power water. Same thing over here. Power water show over here as well. So same same pretty much the same thing. So what do you think about the NBK? You want to live in Europe? It's, yeah. it's better over here and over here. Not just this, but everything. So what do you think? You think, think the tea is safe, or think it's a safe place to be on? Or? Yeah, I think they didn't keep it up. They didn't keep it up, so they. So that's like letting it So you, they get to trying to be catch up now. Ah, oh, so it's mismanagement basically. Plus they uh, relied on the car. They didn't get that from the transportation. Right. The car. We've got public transportation important. Public transportation is part of the, the future. It's part of the infrastructure. We have the, environmental the, problems. Yeah. We're gonna have to have public transportation. That's Europe true. Europe has good public transportation. So we need to and learn from trains, and trains. And trains. But so they concentrated They focus on that as, as a um, right. You're right. I agree. Yeah. So it takes a while to fix that. Get any ideas? What? Get any ideas? What they should do? Let everybody ride bicycles. Everybody ride bicycles. Or make the tea free. Make the tea free. Okay. Cool. <laughs> make it free. Make it free. May may help out. Yeah, free health care. Free health care too. There you go. Yeah, everything should be free. It should be. We got enough taxpaying dollars. Go. You know they what? don't give us anything. We make enough money off of a state uh, lottery alone right. that we can have enough free services for the people in the state. They make like a. I, I thought it was like two point five billion dollars a quarter of a year. I could be wrong, but I heard it's a lot of money, like a two point five billion dollars in three months, yeah. that just generated from tax, not taxes, uh, lottery. They don't want to take care of money. They want to get about, about making money. I got you. So, so money. More and more, they're greedy. That's true. You're right. They keep raising the coffee prices. Right. You're right. Small coffee was. Two forty. Uh huh. For a medium. Two forty for a medium coffee. Yeah, now it's uh, three sixty. That's a lot, yeah. That is, they raised it that much. Coffee and water, that's all that is, a little bit of sugar, a cream. You know what someone told me about Starbucks? Uh huh. That the biggest expense is the milk and the dairy product. Oh, okay, the biggest expense coffee is the dairy is not product. An expense. Right, I agree. And now what they do with Starbucks? What they do with Starbucks? That. Dairy products are not together. They don't let you Oh, so you can't get. They're using too much. I'm gonna pay attention to that next time I go to Starbucks. <laughs> you got a locking chain on the on the on the on the dairy products, huh? Eh? Wow. They don't want people to use it a lot, but that's their biggest expense. It makes sense. If it costs too much money, you want to you want to protect that. <laughs> wow. It may be very interesting. So it's good. It's going to go I think so. I don't know if they fix the orange one. The orange line is probably a little bit better than this one. You know, they, there you go. Orange line is probably quicker too. Good talking to you too, my man. <laughs> Take care. To you gotta vent stuff out every once in a while. I hear you. Conversation is key. The cheese has a lot of work they gotta do, and I don't know where they're, where they're gonna start. Um, at this point, where do you stop with the MBTA? You need training. Fill in, emphasize on safety. Um, I haven't seen anything safe about anything yet. So we'll see how safe he wants the train to be in buses and stuff like that. So we'll see how safe it is. Right now, as um, far as we know, the green line is down, at least this line. I believe this is the B line. I could be wrong. I believe this is the B line. As far as we know, the B line is down to further notice. Um, like I said, not too sure exactly what happened, but allegedly a power line that services the overhead uh, trolley, the, the um, allegedly snapped or came down somehow. 
You're not too sure, like, what caused it, what happened. One of the riders said they, they reportedly saw some sparks when they came down. Somebody heard a, a big boom. So we're not too sure exactly what took place. The 55 coffee. I'm not sure what route that bus takes either, but it definitely goes to coffee. All right, guys, I'm gonna head up out of here. If anything else comes up, I'm gonna get back to you. Right now, it's just um, people catching shuttle buses back and forth in place of the. Uh, there's another newscast over there, too. I'm gonna check them out before I leave. If anything else comes up, we'll get back to you guys. It appears that they're still working on the um, that power issue down there. And we'll find out if that um, gets resolved. As it stands now, it's um, the station is still shut down. I don't know if they shut the uh, the elevator off or not, but we'll check it out and see. A lot of uh, traffic. A lot of it's because of that um, that crane that's blocking up two lanes of traffic over there too. And they, and they want to turn this into a one lane. There's another crane over here that blocks up a lot of traffic. When they put, when they extend these cranes up in the air, they gotta block up a lot of a lot of lanes. So that's probably you know they had like three different cranes up at the same time. There's another one that was further down, but that one left. Let's see if he uh, shut the elevator off because um, he was over here. So if I push the button and it still opens the elevator, that's not helping as far as people want to ride the elevator. Let's see. If you... so I guess this one. I guess he did shut it off. File I'm enunciated for coffee station. Here's all the different zones and areas where you can possibly get the activation source. So he just shut the elevator off because when you hit the button, this one says lobby. It doesn't um it doesn't activate the uh it doesn't activate the um thing, which is a good thing. Hey guys, um, right now it's pretty quiet. If anything else comes up, we'll get back to you. Hopefully, it'll be a peaceful rest of the day.